Greetings ladies and boys, girls, like us, like us, commenters, new subscribers, old subscribers, is generally anybody who's still watching these videos, welcome back. So this video is going to be my prediction for the Northern Ireland Motorcycle Plus show at the Aircon this weekend. It is currently two days away from the actual show. I'm recording this prior to it, so if you see it after the show, this was recorded before. First and foremost, I want to say in an earlier video, I did say that I wasn't getting tickets, free tickets for the show. As part of being on the press list, you get press passes. I have said that I will be paying into the show and I have asked for the tickets to go somewhere else as it shouldn't have been said. I should have had all my details correct before I had said anything. So if you are watching this, give the tickets to someone else. They, they probably deserve them a lot more. I will be paying at the door as usual. Um, yeah, so let's get on with this. So I have seen a list of exhibitors for the show. Um, a, a very good friend sent them to me mm -hmm. and uh, I have a few feelings about them I, I, it, it seems to be very uh, how, how could you say it? there's a lot of big players missing a lot of big players missing um, personally it seems like a show based around the racing, off-road, on-road, you know, motocross, sidecars, drag racing, all of the sort of like club-based things. Now that is great because it's given support to the clubs that need the support that they're given. And I know for a fact, I know like Charles Hurst are going to be there, H HTM from Balamina is going to be there with their bikes. Uh, there's a whole load of whole load of bikes gonna be there. Um, I know a few people who have businesses that will be there. Um, but I I understand that this this is the first year of the show and it is teething problems and this that and the other. But it just seems it just seems like it's missing the mark for me personally. A bike show is everything motorbike. That's fine, you know, a few odd cars here and there, That that's grand. It just seems that, how could you say, it just seems like a lot, I don't know whether it's the dealerships that aren't, aren't interested or they're just, it was just not, uh, how would you say it, desirable for them to be there. I, I mean, I know... One, two, three, four dealerships that aren't going to be there. And if you have been to the show, you'll you'll know which ones they are. They're sort of medium sized. Uh, expectations. My personal expectations for the show is I'm going to pay my money when I go in. I'm going to see a lot, a lot of the stands within the first Eiffel. Um, there's going to be, to me, there's going to be a lot of room that could have been used for stands, but again, I am only thinking about this in my head and saying it out loud what I think, so your experience may differ, you know, once you pay your money, you go going in, you're going to have likes of your, your big dealerships up at the front, I've always said that about the show, it's it, it's a formula that that's that the dealerships are paying for, you know. That is pr probably now. It I do not know this, but it will probably be something similar. You're gonna have two, maybe three, possibly a fourth row, just four rows down the middle, um, and it's just I I get the feeling that it's gonna be very underwhelming i hope i hope now I, I i this is where i want to be proven wrong i want to walk in and like just like oh, you know the expectations are just blown out of the park i mean i could be 
just ragging on the show due to past experiences and I'm just not wanting I'm wanting something that's very small and localized to be big like the NEC or you know somewhere something like that there there's there's for me there's an expectation and I think for a lot of people there's an expectation of what is actually going to happen what is actually going to be there over what the releases have said what you know just just over the thing I will say one thing is I do I do rag on the Facebook page an awful lot um uh clearly I need to think more more independently well you look at a Facebook page especially a page for an event you're sort of trying to gauge your reaction the audience reaction and stuff like that there but from this because it's a new page i'm expecting an event that everybody has been wanting to be performing like silly no silly i mean there's a lot of people have said to me on the comments of these videos and i a couple of people who have met throughout the last couple of months about and we've talked about the show a lot of people haven't really heard much now that's that that's here nor there they've chosen the way to do it it has been done um i just feel it's not going to be right <laughs> um i understand i can't control everything but as i say it's the aircon there's events that's been held at the aircon that have not succeeded and they should have and they haven't and i personally think it's the the venue um a lot of people have said what about using the titanic building now just for comparison i think the aircon is 10 and a half or 10,500 square feet of space and the titanic Expe exhibition center is five and a half thousand square feet so there is a comparatively big difference between the two events. The Aircon has parking, Titanic doesn't. The Aircon is fairly out of the way when you think about it. The Titanic is in the middle of Belfast. So, so both have a lot of pros and a lot of cons. I personally would love to see a bike show in the Titanic. Just solely because the size of the 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 room and the 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 size of the the stands you know you could probably fill that and charge less or you know have a lot more going on you know but we'll have to see i will hopefully be at the show on the saturday i am hoping to be on the saturday um gonna go in I'll have my GoPro with me. I'm going to record it all because obviously I want to do the on the day video for you no know, raw reaction and stuff. But I, I'm hoping. I want this to be. I want this to prove me wrong. I, I know I have ragged on the show or the show with videos and stuff, but I want this to be talk worthy. You know, looking back over the videos, the videos have done okay. I'm not. I'm not expecting huge numbers and stuff you know it's something that i am testing the water with and it seems to be something that people want to watch but when you're getting comments and people saying i've only heard of this show because i randomly seen this video it, it it's worrying <laughs> to say the least it is worrying i think on the sheet that i've seen there was 70, 70 slots, some of those were double filled, triple filled, you know, by one set and you know, one company, one company, one company, so to me it is going to be, to me it's going to be like the old format, it's going to be big at the front, medium in the middle and small at the back, you're going to have your charities running around doing fundraising and stuff. Um, you're going to have your privateers running around. You're going to have your famous people running around. Um, it, it, it's one of those things is... 
a lot of people in the community want the bike show to do well, but if it's not worth going to, some of the comments that I've heard are, I've I've been watching the the updates on Facebook and it's not worth getting out of bed for. Now, understandably, it is raining. <laughs> That'll put people off going on their bikes, so it'll turn into a car park with the cars lined up. There will be some who, like myself, will take their bike. But it is getting to the point where I think at one point I actually just give up. And I wanted to give up and just, just abandon the whole project. But I'm I want, I'm wanting to see it through to the end because I think it's it's, it's a great lesson to learn. As I said at the start, I said I wasn't getting free tickets, but because I was on the press, because I am on the press list, I get press passes, but I have, and once again, I'm saying it out loud, it, I will be paying at the door, give the tickets to someone else. That That is all. But I'm hoping that this show is going to prove me wrong, and I hope it's going to be a, a starting block. I want it to be a good, strong starting block for the rest of them. Because if, if, if this one does good, yeah, 100% there's going to be more at it next year and the more at it the year after but that's great that's great for everybody that's great for the organizers it's great for the vendors and it's great for the customers because at the end of the day a biker walking in off the street or driving from Lisburn five minutes ten minutes down the road into the Aircon you're a customer at the end of the day so <sighs> it's hard it's hard I'm trying to get excited but it's genuinely hard seeing the press stuff and going, oh, hey, what about this? Oh, that's good. And then hearing the vendors. Now, I don't go out and try and pry information from the vendors. I mean, I talk to most of them on a daily if not two daily basis so a lot of them are like have you heard this have you heard that have you heard this have you heard that i have a friend who is a mental health biker he asked for the details about getting the stand and i didn't hear anything else doesn't have to tell me about it not my problem but it's 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 just concerning because i'm concerned that if it doesn't do well this year that's it it's not it's gonna be a one trip one and done we're not gonna do it again it's not it's not economically viable because from what I've heard is the Urcon is not cheap it is probably the biggest expenditure an event can have yeah because it's it's a big space you need to pay for the staff here are gonna to have to be there you're gonna to have to pay for the lights to be on you're gonna to have to pay all the other costs so the Urcon is not cheap so if you can't get over if you can't break even it's it's going to be a bust I, I, there'd be no point running the show if it's going to be a bust every year and your your bigger vendors aren't going to come over if the show isn't going to do well so why should they pay for their slot if the show isn't going to do well you know what i mean I would love to see the likes of CTM, you know, come over. I would love to see like the off-road schools from Wales coming over. There's a lot. <laughs> there, there is a lot there that should be coming over and filling a space. But it just seems very orientated for if you want to get into off-roading, if you want to get into road racing, if you want to get into track racing, if you want to get into sidecar racing, if you want to try drag racing you know, and i understand that there will be stuff there for just the bog standard motorcyclists but it seems very sort of cornered to one market but as i say i am hoping i am proved wrong because at the end of the day if i am proved wrong you can you can all comment underneath a video and go you were wrong and i'll agree because I'll have been there, I'll have witnessed it as well, alongside everybody else. And yeah, it's not as if I'm not going to admit defeat. But I know I've been rambling on for a bit. 
if you see this video before the show, drop your drop your comments in the, the comment section down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen. I know there is a couple of guys talking to me in the comments and I do try and get back to them as quickly as possible. If you go to the show and you see this video, feel free to come in the comments and tell me I'm wrong. If you see the next video, which will probably be the show video itself, drop in the comments. You, you were wrong. You, I was there. I seen you. You did this and you said that. Fair enough. But at the end of the day, once these this series is coming to an end, it will literally be after the show video will be a debrief video of what I have learnt dealing with being on the press list. You know what I have learnt to expect. What I have learnt to or what I've learned and how to present the information to people in video format, you know, it's a learning curve for me as well. So I am getting there, but I'll appreciate everything that people say underneath. And uh, as always, if you haven't already and you do like these videos and you've seen anything else that I do, please like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. I don't spam. Um, I try to make as Northern Ireland friendly content as possible. Um, yeah, and maybe if dates line up and I'm allowed, if I can get away, I'll be doing the Edinburgh Bike Show. Um, probably back to the NEC to make a bigger and better video. Uh, just so much, and then I've got ABR this year, so I'll be doing a video on that. But as I said, if you go to the show, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, let's prove me wrong.